afternoon. Uh, I'll make a uh, brief statement and, uh, and then uh, answer questions. Uh, after a series of recent issues and a team culture that had deteriorated, we determined that it's time to make a change uh, to return to a club and focus to the team. And as a result, uh, we uh, dismissed Alan Koch as head coach uh, of FC Cincinnati uh, and have appointed Johan DeMay uh, to be the interim coach while we begin a worldwide search uh, for the next uh, head coach for FC Cincinnati. Uh, this decision is not uh, driven by recent game results themselves, but rather the underpinnings that have led to those results. Uh, we have not come close to maximizing the talent that we have in the dressing room this year, uh, nor have we seen a foundation being built that will set us up for success this year uh, and into next year. Our whole locker room is committed to our club goal of earning an MLS postseason bid, and we need them to put it. We need to put them in the best position to do so. I am confident that Yoan will immediately infuse the locker room and soccer staff with a positive energy and team approach. He is respected and trusted, and will lead the hard work that gets the best out of our players. We appreciate Allen's contributions to FC Cincinnati and the United Soccer League, and we wish him well. Jeff, was there a deciding factor or moment, or when did you know you were going to make this move? Uh, we're constantly evaluating uh, our team, constantly evaluating the club. Uh, and uh, the foundation uh, for future success uh, was not there. Uh, and uh, the, the culture that we think is necessary that leads to uh, success, uh, as, a, as a result, uh, we decided that now was the time to make the change. As far as culture goes, was Allen the full extent of the cultural issue, and does removing him solve that? Uh, the focus is to build a positive culture, Pat, uh, to build a positive culture. And as I mentioned, uh, we feel that uh, Yoan DeMay brings a positive energy. Uh, he brings uh, respect. Uh, he is uh, someone who is trusted uh, among the staff and among the players uh, and is someone who uh, we believe uh, collectively uh, will get the best out of uh, the players. Um, at, at the end of the day, uh, we are where we are, uh, and uh, we decided it was time to make the change. Was this something the players and Alan came and talked about? Was this something the players approached you about? Uh, I'm not going to get into a, a rear view mirror. Uh, I think today's focus uh, is looking out the front windshield. Uh, we, need, uh, we need to do better. Uh, in terms of building a culture to begin to develop a positive identity, uh, and we think the change uh, was required to make that happen. How do you feel you're going to move forward and ensure the pieces are used the right way if they weren't being used before, both with Yoan and the, the next coach? Yeah, uh, we believe that uh, Yoan uh, is a very uh, bright student of the game. He has clear ideas of how we want to play. Uh, he has a clear understanding of the talents uh, that our players uh, bring to the squad. Uh, he has uh, very uh, clear thoughts on training sessions that set players up for success. He has clear thoughts on players' best positions uh, that give them the opportunity to maximize uh, their talents. Uh, and everyone is very anxious to get out on the field uh, and, and, and begin the work for uh, this weekend. No, I think it's still early enough in the year. Look, uh, again, w we believe in this group of, of players. Uh, we have a strong mentality in the locker room. Uh, we have players uh, whose leadership is unquestioned, uh, from Captain Kendall Waston and, and others. Uh, there's guys that have won championships. Uh, this is a quality group, uh, and we have uh, plenty of time uh, to build on those talents and to build on that mentality uh, and to get results. 
this is a group that you know, was recruited to come be a part of this club uh, because they believed in, 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 in uh, FC Cincinnati, this project, and what it represented. Uh, they believed in, in building something that has been very organically driven. You, you think about uh, 20,000 season ticket holders. You think of the pictures of the march that went viral internationally uh, uh, prior to and after then our, our, our inaugural home game. Um, these players are fighting for our city, uh, but we have to set them up for success. Uh, and uh, we believe that this change will set our players up for success. Uh, and we believe we'll have the opportunity then to get results for our city. Jeff, will, will Yo be considered a candidate? Will he have an opportunity to apply for the full-time position? Um, listen, we're, we're going to do a, a worldwide search. Um, obviously, um, uh, MLS experience is a plus. It's not a requirement. Uh, certainly in Alan's case, uh, we had someone who had been successful here previously, uh, and uh, we felt he had earned an opportunity uh, to uh, advance with the team. Promoting from within, uh, I think, is a, a good thing. Uh, it didn't work out how we hoped. Uh, with the discussion we've had with Yoan to date has been uh, to, uh, to build that culture to bring that positive energy, to begin to develop the identity that maximizes our players uh, while we go through um, a worldwide search. So I think you and I could probably both agree that people have questions about the timeline, you know, the firing coming 11 games into the season. What kind of footing was Allen on to start the year? And I guess uh, what, was, what, was, was, what was happening? All along, do you, and do you think that? Um, I mean, why bring him back if eleven games was all he was going to get at that point? Uh, well, I'll, I'll repeat part of what I just said. Uh, look, we believed Allen earned uh, the opportunity. Uh, we had beaten MLS teams in in Open Cup competitions. Uh, we won the USL regular season championship last year in record setting uh, format. Uh, and uh, we felt uh, he had earned uh, the opportunity. Uh, and we worked closely together uh, over the course of the last uh, year um, to develop the roster uh, in advance of this year. Uh, I had every expectation he was going to be successful. Uh, this was never uh, anything uh, that was in my mind. Uh, it, it, to your point, w when you asked about when starting the season, uh, th this was never anything that was contemplated. Uh, and uh, I, I was very confident that we would be uh, successful. And I want to stress, I didn't define success by results. I talked about success in terms of culture. I talked about success in terms of building a foundation to be develop an identity. I think when you have those things, uh, success comes. It may not come immediately, but it is the result when you have a strong foundation and a strong culture. Uh, and it just didn't turn out how we hoped. How long would you say is an appropriate time to expect a coach to be able to build that culture? Um, well, I, I guess I would offer this. Uh, we certainly think that there uh, was enough time here. And um, all I can offer is, as I noted, we're constantly evaluating uh, the foundation of the club, the culture in the club. Um, uh, we're in a, in a situation where we were troubled. We felt that the situa situation had deteriorated. We, uh, we were confident it was not going to change. And therefore, uh, there was a result for there to be a change. Who is going to be conducting the coaching ser search? And can you give us a little bit more on, on what specifically you're going to be looking for? Uh, sure. Uh, our team, our, our group here internally, uh, will lead the search. Ultimately, that'll be, uh, as, as president, uh, that ultimately will fall to me. Uh, but we have a great ownership group led by Carl Linder and uh, others. Um, but uh, I will lead it, but I have a lot of people uh, that, uh, that are a part of that effort. And just thoughts on the current roster. Is it, is it good enough right now? And, and what are your feelings on that? Yeah, no, um, we do believe uh, in the roster. Uh, look, we developed uh, the roster here uh, through a, a process where uh, 
we developed KPIs, uh, key performance indicators, uh, based on how um, uh, our head coach wanted to play and what we thought, what he believed were the key uh, requirements for players to be successful uh, in, in each position. Uh, Luke Sassano and our scouting staff then went through a process of sourcing players, uh, of, of, of doing an analytics study of the players and how it fit with our key performance indicators. Uh, obviously, there's financial considerations that go into that process. There's character uh, with interviews and background intelligence. Uh, and, and obviously, uh, the head coach uh, has to uh, want the players. I, I think in almost every soccer team in the world, the head coach decides who takes the field. Uh, and so it doesn't make any sense to sign players that the head coach doesn't feel will help uh, him uh, get results. Uh, and at the end of the process, uh, when I, or in some cases, um, uh, w you know, uh, with Carl, when we sign off on players, they become FC Cincinnati players. Uh, they're not Luke Sassano players or scout players or the head coaches players. They're FC Cincinnati players. It'll always be that way, okay? Uh, but we believe in the quality of this group. Uh, we don't think that the, that the culture uh, has, been, uh, has been the best. Uh, we don't think the foundation has been there. We've not to set them up for success. We've not maximized their ability. Uh, but we believe we can get those things right and we can get back to getting good results uh, for this club and our city. You speak about the importance of the culture. How do you reinforce or further instill a positive, cohesive team culture at this point? Uh, you know, I think uh, anyone in the workplace, whether it's here in the front office or you in your newsrooms uh, or players in a locker room, there's certain criteria that uh, that we that we look for, right? I mean, you you want a level of honesty, you want a level of trust, you 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 want a mutual respect, uh, you you want uh, hard work to be rewarded, you want uh, there to be accountability uh, for hard work. Those are just uh, basic things. You, you need a positive energy, you need a positive energy, uh, and um, th those are things that we feel confident that Yoan Demay with the full support of the staff and the support of our players is going to get back to. How did you tell the team and the Dragons? Uh, I met with the team this morning uh, out at Milford uh, and, um, you know, had a, had, a, had, a good, had a good meeting. Um, and uh, listen, uh, I think people, um, uh, th there's a fresh start. Again, as I said, let's, let's, look, through the, let's look through the front windshield. Uh, we don't need to look through the rearview mirror. Um, and um, the number one responsibility of the leader is culture, is work environment. Uh, and uh, we're going to get that right. Jeff, to, to follow up on the, the question about how long it takes to build a culture, it's been a kind of unique situation here with head coaches at FC Cincinnati with the turnover between John and now Allen in a short period of time. How do you assure candidates that you'll be looking for, guys that you want to bring in here, that they'll have the time they need to make it work despite the track record of two coaches being gone in a short period of time? Uh, well, listen, we, we have high standards, uh, and, and we do place a premium on culture. Uh, let's be honest, uh, the success story of this club has been driven based on successful culture. Um, when, when you have uh, this organic movement, uh, 20,000 uh, season ticket holders, uh, brilliant uh, business partners, uh, the training facility, uh, the Mercy Health training facility that we're building, that'll be uh, second to none uh, in the league. Um, an unbelievable new stadium that's starting to come out of the ground uh, in the West End, 26,000 uh, seats. Uh, that only can happen through having a strong culture. Um, and uh, that has uh, been uh, the case, uh, certainly in the front office. It's been the case with our supporter culture. Um, uh, unfortunately, at times, it hasn't been the case on the soccer side. Um, we, we are going to take our time here uh, to get the search right. Uh, we're going to make sure that we, uh, we have a head coach coming in who uh, is a, a big time proven leader, uh, not only with results, 
uh, but also with culture. Jeff, you, you said that the new head coach will have to get the culture right. So uh, I know you say you want to look forward, but backtracking, where, where did Allen, I guess, in these first 11 games get the culture wrong? Because it seemed like building off USL success, obviously that's a different league, uh, being coach of the year, you know, really dream start to this season. And then in the past eight, nine games, the, the culture changed. Where did, where did that go, go wrong? Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a fair question. Uh, I'm not going to go into details. Uh, I, I'm just going to offer um, when you're in a work environment and, and the culture's great, you know it. Uh, and when you're in a work environment uh, that's not, you, you know that too. And we are, we, we are constantly evaluating. We're constantly trying to coach and try to improve uh, and, and try to have uh, continual um, uh, I I improvement, um, and, and that and that comes with a level of self-awareness that starts with me, uh, and and certainly uh, everyone throughout the organization. But there's no question uh, that uh, we've made this determination that it was not going to change uh, on its own. It was only going to change through uh, the, the through the, the change we've made today. Uh, Alan and I talked on a regular basis. Did you feel that there was a clear d division that developed between Alan and the players? And if so, how far did, did that go back? Uh, as I said, we're constantly evaluating uh, environment. Uh, we're constantly evaluating where we are in terms of building the foundation. Um, you know, I've said here, we believe in our players. Uh, we think we have a long way to go before we've maximized uh, the talents uh, in the locker room. Um, and uh, I know that the players believe in each other uh, and they are gonna rally together uh, to, uh, with this fresh start um, to show that we have a ways to go before we've maximized the talent in the group. Jeff, you just said you're obviously a self-aware person. I know you to be a very self-critical person. Do you f what what culpability, if any, do you feel that you bear as the GM in the situation? Uh, well, well, look, I, I take full responsibility. Uh, I'm the president uh, and general manager of this club, uh, and ultimately that makes me responsible for everything. Uh, and so uh, I'll just share. Um, every single day, we're we're thinking of of how. Uh, I can do better, how the president can do better, how the GM can do better. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very aware, and ultimately I do bear a responsibility. Uh, but uh, I am convinced uh, that uh, the change of the head coach uh, was necessary, as I've said, uh, to build a, a strong culture and a foundation within that locker room uh, that get the best out of our players and get results for this club and our city. Uh, th that doesn't mean that uh, I won't be doing some things differently as well. This is the change we're here to talk about today. What does this mean for the current assistant coaches? Yeah, our assistant coaches, let me say, um, they have, uh, like our players do, they, they have confidence in, in Yoan. Uh, he is a student of the game. Uh, he's very uh, well respected in his character he, in terms of just he's honest, he's open. He has a clear uh, uh, tactical philosophy on how he wants to play. Uh, he has a clear plan for training sessions uh, that will maximize our, our player development. He's respected by our staff, uh, and uh, he's been at FC Cincinnati here for a number of years, and so he's very familiar with the culture of the club, uh, our supporter culture, the values uh, from Carl Lindner all the way throughout the organization. Uh, and uh, our ambition for long-term success for our city. Um, so the other assistant coaches have rallied around uh, Yoan. Uh, they understand uh, that, um, that that this is a fresh start. Uh, certainly going forward, um, our, our assistants, as, as we hire a new coach, uh, they will have the opportunity to work together with the new coach uh, and an opportunity to prove uh, why we believe in them. Do you have a message to the fans? 
from today? Uh, I, I think our message is that, um, w again, we, we have uh, high ambition uh, for this city. Um, there is nothing that matters to me more than winning trophies for this city. Uh, we are a championship city. All of us who live here, who, who love Cincinnati, know that this is a great city. Uh, and, and I am committed to having FC Cincinnati uh, take that uh, challenge uh, and seize that mantle to show the rest of the world this is a global game. Uh, what a great city this is. And uh, in sports, you win trophies, and people respect that as a winning city, a championship city. Uh, I have friends in Cleveland, and, and I know they all view themselves differently after LeBron helped them win an NBA championship. And I am uh, committed with nothing else more important than winning a championship for this city. With the coaching search and wanting to get it right, how long are you willing to let this go and, and play out? Will it, could it be something that happens in the off season even? And uh, do you already have maybe some people in the back of your mind you'd like to pursue? Uh, thank you, George. Uh, we, I want to be clear, we don't have a list. Uh, we did not anticipate uh, today. Uh, and so uh, we're starting from, from scratch there. Uh, as I said, we're, we're going to get it right. Um, and um, th that, by far, is the most important piece here, much more so than timing. I, I mentioned we believe in Yoan, so we think that the team is in good hands uh, right now, and we're going to go out and find someone who can take this club uh, to the next level. Jeff, do you have any leads on, uh, on the personnel side with the transfer window closing tomorrow? Uh, as I said uh, earlier, we believe in this group of players. Uh, we do not believe that they have been maximized. Um, certainly, I think every player, they're, they're pros. They understand that we always want to get better. Uh, and, and they accept, you know, uh, as, as, as I've said before, uh, for, for players, the challenge is not to be the best player uh, out there. Uh, the challenge is to be better today than you were yesterday. And if you buy into that philosophy uh, as, as a group, uh, we will have a successful team. Uh, so I, I say that, um, of course, we're always evaluating opportunities. Uh, people present opportunities to us. Uh, we obviously will have a Gold Cup window uh, coming up. We might lose uh, several players. Uh, we're certainly uh, mindful of, of that, so some of our very good players. Um, and so uh, we certainly take that into a, a account. Uh, but we have nothing, um, if you will, sort of uh, on the precipice uh, in terms of adding players uh, today. Two more Jeff, how would you characterize your conversation with Alan and uh, his reaction? Um, it was a short conversation and, uh, you know, never easy. Um, but this is a part of the business. Last question. How much did, you know, losing your best offensive player, Adi, for the most of this? start of the season affect how the team was able to perform? Um, well, it didn't, it didn't help, um, to be fair. Uh, but I, I want to stress, um, today's uh, announcement is not about results uh, on the field. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.